Uh, what uh, cause you you said you're sick and tired, but what was your symptoms? What uh, disease, diseases or diseases did you have back then? Chronic fatigue was the main one. Crohn's disease, a lot of asthma, breathing issues, mm -hmm. insomnia, depression, hyperglycemia, like medically diagnosed hyperglycemia. Right. Um, just a lot of those basic things, just feelings of unwellness, yeah. feelings okay. of dis-ease, and uh, that all went away when I changed my diet and lifestyle. Right. So that, that's, that's why I've become so evangelical, because I've been on so far the extremes, like just in bed, can't get up, can't go to school, or I'd catch the bus to school because I don't have energy to ride my bike, to Lance Armstrong's in town, all right. If I can get past security, I'm going to go ride with Lance Armstrong. I can keep up with Lance Armstrong, no problems in five hours in the mountains. The mm -hmm. biggest problem for me is getting past security. Yep. <laughs> That's my reality now. This, this In the next month, I want to crack 600 kilometers in a day. My record's 515 in a day. Cool. So I want to crack 600 k's in a day solo. I've already done a 620 in a day before in a group, but I'm never by myself. So mm -hmm. That's why I'm so evangelical, because I've been in the, in the, the depths of despair. Yeah, so I can relate to people. And what 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 is your what is your diet and what was the um, did what you eat now? Like I know you eat a lot of fruit now, but back then when you changed your diet and uh, you got rid of the the asthma, the Crohn's, the depression, the chronic fatigue, you know, did you go straight into the fruit or what did you do? No, I followed a, a Doctor McDougal. You know Doctor McDougal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So famous, you know, nutrition doctor, Doctor McDougal. Followed his program for a bit, and that's just that just felt so good, I felt incredible doing that. And then I sort of read a book called Fit for Life and it said, you know, fruit's really good for breakfast. And I thought, for, um, okay, I'll try that. So I had started having fruit for breakfast and that was like next level. And then I heard about raw food lifestyle mm -hmm. and then I did fruit for a day one day and I was like, wow, this feels really good. But I just didn't know how to get enough calories. So I always fall off the wagon. But yeah. uh, I started, I started really, luckily that I started on the high carb, low fat lifestyle. A lot of people go vegan, they go, you know, lots of oil and grease and and they don't get the benefits they probably could. Mm -hmm. So I was pretty lucky, I just fell into the high carb, low fat lifestyle and got the benefits yeah. literally within, within days. And then it just it led me to more to the fruit lifestyle and raw food and that's where I am today. Cool. So and, definitely. And how long have you been raw vegan now? Oh, well, I started in 2001. Yeah. Um, 2002 actually rather, I went vegan in 2001, started raw foods in 2002. I don't call myself a 100% raw foodist because I do eat dried fruit, I do eat bottled juice okay. and I, I do eat dates so technically those things are not raw right. but uh, raw in the sense of raw. Yeah. So I've been vegan since uh, April 2001 All right. and I started the high fruit raw foods thing, really getting most of my calories from fruit in 2006 when I went to Doug Graham's Health and Fitness Week mm -hmm. and that was when the light bulb went off and I was like, wow, you got to eat a lot of fruit if you want to have high energy. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you, just, you fail as a raw foodist. you got to okay. fail ethically. So, so 2006 when I started the 80 10 10 lifestyle. Cool. So tell me, what would you eat in a day? Ooh. Generally. I'm on to my uh, fifth kilo of apricots at the moment <laughs> and it's only, uh, time is it? it's about 11 o'clock here. Uh -huh. But, I mean, apricots are a very short season for quality like this. So. I rarely eat apricots. On a typical day, it would be bananas and dates. Mm -hmm. So maybe 30 bananas, 40 bananas. Dates are really good because dates are always ripe. So a kilo of dates at least a day as a minimum. And then add on top of that a bit of salad, uh, some watermelon or something like that. Yeah. Dates and bananas are our focus, my partner freely. Because dates are great because they're high calorie, they're always ripe. Bananas are great because you can tell when they're ripe and you can get them in most places and they digest great. And you can make smoothies out of them or just eat them, eat them as is, and just the high calorie. And we find the high calorie fruits really uh, give you that punch. So I'm eating low calorie fruits like apricots at the moment just because these taste so good. Mm -hmm. They're just incredible. But uh, I couldn't sustain myself from this because they're just too low calorie. So I wouldn't right. have enough energy. But you know, a few meals, a few times a year is not going to be an issue at all. Yeah. So we oh. go for high calorie definitely. All right. So for, so for that, that's for like the the eighty percent fruit. What about the other? Um, ten percent fat, ten percent uh, pr um, protein. Where, where do you get that from? Well, we get our protein from fruit. We get our fats mostly from fruit. Occasionally, we eat avocado, but I haven't. I haven't had an avocado for. Well, when's the last time I had avocado? Maybe two months. Mm -hmm. um, I have salad a few times a week. 
but I definitely I like having low fat I occasionally have vegetable oil on a salad a few times a year if someone's made it and it's got some on there but I'm definitely into low fat low salt yeah I'll eat nuts occasionally but yeah maybe once a month yeah I've done my experimentation where I've eaten a lot of nuts and did the low carb raw food thing and just failed epically mm -hmm. <laughs>